the no longer rich and infamous Rudy Giuliani is paying the price for his election lies, and trust me, it's very steep. A judge wants the former New York City mayor to hand over prized possessions to the two election workers that he defamed. The list is long enough to make anyone on MTV Cribs pretty envious. First of all, it, it's the crib itself, that Manhattan penthouse that Giuliani has, the bling, the watches, the jewelry, sports memorabilia, including an autographed Joe DiMaggio jersey, a 1980s Mercedes that was once owned by the actress Lauren Bacall. Why he has that, I have no idea. His TV, his furniture, cold hard cash. It's unclear, though, if Giuliani will end up keeping his Palm Beach condo. And, of course, his New York Yankees championship rings, plural. It's gotta go. I just wanna say, I feel like the millennial pop culture era has gotten a lot of child tonight between Eminem and MTV Cribs. Um, <laughs> right. But, I, I, look, I think this is important because uh, Ruby Freeman and Shea Moss were public servants. And we've talked about yeah. the importance of how local people run elections and when you are targeted and you have a target literally put on your back because of lies about the election and them not doing their job properly. Um, and now they actually got a guilty verdict because he tried to, you know, not get his assets turned over, but now they're actually going to get the money they deserve. Their life has forever been disrupted, and it's the least that they can get as public service that are doing the most important thing to protect our democracy. That's a reminder of the high price yeah. that people pay yes. for being in Trump's orbit. I think, I think actually is spot on. I, I think that when you are a person of power and influence and you have a large microphone in our culture, you can really hurt people. And there's a big responsibility that comes with that. And he learned a lesson here. He should not have done what he did. And so, you know, when you do those kinds of things in our system, people can hold you accountable. There's a process. He was held accountable and that's what we're seeing here. I think that applies to Trump too. I think it applies to every single one of these. I think it applies I think it applies to all of us. I think it applies to all of us. Yeah, it should. Nobody should be above the law. And particularly public servant. I mean, when, when you're the target of the public servant, and I think it's not just a, it's not just about him, it's about the lesson that it is teaching other people as we go into this election cycle, not to do the same um, nefarious, misleading things about I was, I, would yeah, to, I, was hopeful that. I would love to add that I believe that Shea Moss and Ruby Freeman are true American heroes, but these women had their lives destroyed at the hands of Donald Trump and his allies, like Rudy Giuliani. They spread these conspiracy theories about these women who were in the middle of a pandemic, running a free and fair election, trying to do their public service for their country. And this is how Donald Trump and his allies repaid them. And so they deserve every single penny of this money. And it should be a warning to those who defend Donald Trump and help spread conspiracy theories. Because look, we all know that the 2020 election was not stolen. There's zero evidence of it. And someone like uh, Rudy Giuliani, who I once held in such high regard, I mean, what a fall from grace this is. And it's really quite sad to see. Yeah, it's uh, taken four years for these women to get justice. That's, uh, that's too long, frankly. Everyone, thank you very much for joining us.